As an iOS developer, we all know UI table view. I guess you must know this for loading table view. But do you know we can make the loading of the table view as good as this? Or even we can make the loading of the table view as fancy as this? Again. Hi. Welcome back to LSC Tutorials. This is Sheldon again. Today we're going to talk about some animation related to UI table view. Um, in this case, we can load our table view not that boring. So as usual, the final project will be available in the GitHub repository that I will post the link down in the video description. So talk is cheap. Let's write some code. So here we are at the Xcode. I'm going to show you guys first in the storyboard. So as you can see, see here uh, in the storyboard, we only have two things. One is the navigation controller and the second one is just a simple table view controller. So inside of this table view controller, we will have uh, only one kind of cell. Within this cell, as you can see, we have this image view and on top of it, we're having a label. So this is like only uh, one element that we're using. We're going to update the value for the label uh, later. So if you visit the cell file, UI table view cell file, you will see we only drag this label as the cell property. OK, so because we're going to update this label.text value. And um, of course, I have prepared one image to be the background. OK, so let's get to our table view controller class. OK, um, let's do the first step, which is statically showing a row of the table view that we have some values. OK, for example, we can put some random text like level one, level five. Okay, so we're defining an array um, of strings that contains one, two, three, four, five strings. And in the number of rows in section, we will return the ar array.count. In this case, we're going to return five rows. And in the cell for row at index path, we define our cell using the identifier that we have put for. Um, for the cell here in the storyboard, which is just simply as CELL cell. Um, so we, in that case, we're defining our cell using identifier, and then we update cell.label.text is equal to array.indexPath.row. In this case, if we run our project, we are easily finishing um, the simplest way to load the table. OK, so I mean, everything is loaded uh, just like what we regularly do. Uh, oh, one thing I forgot is that I also um, define a button here in the navigation bar. And also I drag an uh, um, action here, um, here. So we're going to implement some method within this redo. And also I have defined our height for the row. So in this case, each uh, row will have 100 pixel at the height. Okay, so this is the way we uh, usually do uh, the reloading or the loading of the table view. Um, next up, we uh, we're gonna do some simple animation to moving all the rows together. Okay, so we're gonna create a function called uh, insert rows. Mode one, mode two. Okay. Uh, in this case, we're gonna insert our, all our rows um, into the table view, and uh, as you may guess here, we're gonna use table view dot insert rows at index path with animation. Okay. So for the animation, we can simply use dot um, write. This means we're gonna animate our um, rows of table from the right side into left side. 
but first you need to define um, I mean the first step we need to define an index path uh, we're gonna use index path with row and section so for the section it's always be zero right and for the row Initially, we're going to use 1 and then uh, 0 and then 1 and, and 2, just uh, adding it up. But one thing that you need to notice is that uh, before you... Um, yeah, in this case, we still need the array.count, right? So we need to empty this array at the beginning. I mean, initially when the table is loaded, uh, it should be an empty table. And after that, we're going to insert all the rows into our table view. So initially, we're making this array to be an empty array. And we need to append whatever element we're needing. Um, so it's going to be level 1, for instance. Okay, And we're going to use this array of index path here so we're gonna do um, similar things for different rows so we're gonna copy and paste let's say five times or more than five times okay so we're gonna uh, insert row uh, I mean copy paste of course is not wise idea so we're gonna create a function because we are doing this like uh, repeatedly we're going to create a function called func insert row mode 2 okay so well, now we're going to invoke this function I mean the function name is insert row here and this function is called insert rows um, so we're going to take the index as the input as well as the string as the input and we're gonna invoke this function insert row with the index 0 and string 1 I mean string level 1 for the first row so in here we're gonna append string only, okay. And for the similar for the second row is just uh, uh, I mean the rest are similar. For the second one we just use one and two and three and four and five and six and level from two to three to four to five to six to seven. We are gonna not put this function in the view did load because. When view did load got invoked, the view is not ready. So to animate these effects, we have to use view did appear. So override view did appear, and don't forget to invoke super dot view did appear. Animated, and we're gonna invoke our function called insert rows mode two. And let's run our project. Yeah, as you can see, all the rows came came in together. Um, yeah, but one thing is wrong is that all the text uh, actually is returning the first index, which actually is wrong. So the mistake that we have made is here actually in line line forty nine. Uh, we only define the index path use the initial row. So we're going to use this IND here instead of 0. We forgot to change it. So after this, we're going to run our project. And it will push all the rows together from the right side to the left side with all the label having the correct value. OK, so we kind of finish this. But one thing that you may notice is like we are um, invoking this one by one. Why they are still? come in the same time because when the system compile your code um, so from line 
37 to 38 it's like instant there is no time almost no time difference because nowadays the RAM is so good the CPUs are so good for the iPhone um, so the starting point of invoking 37 38 39 and 33 is exactly the same time so it won't wait for your animation to be finished if you want to have some animation to move all the cells like one by one so we can use the ns dispatch after uh, async after to realize uh, like push all our rows one by one so let's do it now let's put some notes here first so mark second way to show table and here we're gonna put another mark uh, third way to show table okay so similarly we're gonna create a function called insert rows mode 3 And we're gonna create one. Uh, we're gonna invoke this insert row again, right? But since we're gonna use um, this patch, so let's actually rewrite this function here using three. Okay. So uh, we're gonna use this patch q dot min dot async after so in this case we can have this deadline which will be uh, now plus let's say we're gonna uh, push our second row I mean next row after 0 0.1 second and we can execute here okay the next thing that we need to define is we need to define a completion handler of our own this completion handler will return void in this case we're gonna invoke our completion handler okay so because we're gonna give some value to the outside world um, I think this will require to add this at escaping for the Swift 3 yes we are adding at escaping here because we're gonna use this completion handler okay so in the insert rows mod 3 <clears throat> we're gonna invoke this function called insert row mod 3 okay still 0 at first string level 1 and the completion handler after means after we finish this thing we're gonna invoke next one called insert row 3 again we're gonna in here we're gonna invoke index 1 and level 2 and the completion handler again so it's like after we finish the first step and then we go to the next step so because this is in a block and that we need to add a self dot insert row um, yes so if we change the function in the view data appear to insert rows in mod 3 we're gonna see the effect because we are only inserting two levels now so this will be uh, enough to show if it's uh, correctly or not correctly doing yes so at least our animation is working correctly so in this case we can um, duplicate this process here as well self dot I mean we can simply copy and paste this function and after this final one uh, is pushed let's print something I mean every row is inserted and we can change this index two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, and also the level 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And let's run our code again. Yes, as you can see, everything is pushed, but uh, it looks like it's a little bit slower. So actually, let's invoke, uh, let's implement this redo function here as well. So basically, redo is like we need to invoke this insert row mode three again for sure. But at first, we need to remove all the element from our existing array that. It's like we clean our uh, existing data from the um, array and then we need to reload our table. It's like after we reload our table, the existing rows will be um, disappearing. So let's run our project again and we can type redo now. Yes, and let's type redo. Okay. And it looks like it's too slow. Let's make zero uh, dot zero two and run our project again. Okay, it looks like more uh, smooth. And you can see every row is inserted, is uh, printed in the console. Okay, yes, and let's do it again. All right. So I think this is it. In this short video tutorial, I have implemented some basic animation using um, actually using Apple native I mean UI table cell animation and we are using dot right which is moving all the cell from the right into the final position and I hope you enjoy this video and please subscribe uh, leave any comments also if you have other good idea of uh, other topics uh, depends on the time I can uh, do video tutorials on that topic as well okay oh by the way uh, my thanks to Sean Farrell who donated six dollars to me again um, I really appreciate it that uh, if you guys want to donate to me you can also use the link in the channel art, which is a PayPal link. Uh, you can use that to donate to me. And uh, my thanks to you in advance. All right, see you next time.